Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be continuing with the video of CAPTCHA and Coding Nitrate. So today I will show you how to optimize your code. So let's get started. So I have created this view and this refresh button in my previous video. So if you have not watched them, so please go and watch them. This then continue with this video. So now let me show you code. So I have created this home controller. In index function, there is captcha code. After that, there is a register submit function. So, and now after that, there is third function that is get new captcha. In view, I have displayed captcha image and a button for refresh get new captcha. So, same function I have created here. So, you can see in index function. And in get new captcha, there is same code repeated twice. So we need to reduce that. So firstly, just remove this commented code. Now define constructor of the class public function. Construct then parent construct. After that, I'm going to load helper in this constructor. So copy from index and paste here now remove same from get new captcha as well so our captcha is loaded now in constructor so let's go and check once so refresh so both are working so now i'll be creating one helper so create new file in application folder helper right php give some name let's say capture customer underscore helper dot php so firstly check base path is defined or not then after that check if let's say function exist or not so pass the function name in function exist let's say create capture now inside if define this function create capture now from index copy the capture code and cut from here and paste it in this function of our helper so now from our helper return this cap so here our captcha will be created and its detail will be returned to our index. So for that firstly in our constructor load captcha customer helper you don't need to define helper you will be just defining name of the helper and call the function in there that is create captcha and take that in a variable let's say cap here as well. So refresh there is one error undefined variable in our helper so okay i'm just returning caps but variable is cap so remove s and now let's go and again refresh so our captcha is created using our helper function here so now i'll be calling this same function in refresh button function as well so copy this and you can see same code is here so remove this and just call this helper function so now you can see both from here our code is reduced so now let's go and if i'll click on refresh button so it's working fine so after that you can also see that i am storing one variable that is captcha word in session in both the function so what I can do is this, I can also pass this in my helper function. So just cut this from here and paste after cap. So same variable is for captcha word. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the session name from my function and get that variable here as argument pass session name and pass that in the name of session set user data same variable pass in 
get new captcha function as well and remove it from here so why i'm doing is this like you can have multiple captcha in your multiple form so you can pass your session different name and you don't need to change every time you are creating captcha like you can have captcha in your register page or in your contact as well so you can keep your session name different for both the pages so now let us unset this variable as well so maybe possible that the same session is defined before as well so we need to unset that and again set this so after that also get the ci instance here as we are not extending any ci core functionality so we need to get the instance here and from this change it to cia so we are all set and let's go and check in browser so refresh and both our refresh button and captcha is our created so we are done here so in my next video i will show you how to check captcha code using our callback function so in this video i have shown you how to optimize code so i hope this video is helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching